Welcome to the Master Wong Wing Chun training system. On this particular bit now, we're going to talk to you through on this program. It's about beauty. Okay. Now, if you follow me through all to here, then you will see now beauty is a lot to do with finger size. And we don't go back to show you any other movement because it's not relevant to on this particular bit of the program. On here, we try to show you a little bit on the hand side onto the movement. What beauty is? Beauty is designed to on a lot to the throat. Finger strike called flushing finger or flying finger. Now what we try to teach you to understand is on this particular learn, understand about the distance and knowing about the inch power, the power in the close range. And what is a beauty do? Help you to understand that. It's not learning something that stopping onto the body because it's very difficult. You've broken your finger very easily. I mentioned to you many times before, when you're working on this particular training, it's all about safety for yourself first. Okay? Learning and knowing about that. Without this basic training and safety, you will find very difficult to work. Now, on this here, let me show you through that so you're knowing what beauty is all about. And then you can decide what is it. Is it good or is it bad? Then you make up your mind. Let me borrow your tie. Now, when you work with beauty, if you're learning of the uh, beauty already, you will find this useful. If you are beginning, you will find this quite confusing. I my best advice to you is getting the DVD onto the beauty, okay? You can see the website on this. On the website here, you go to our website, you can see uh, the DVD, and then that will explain a lot into the basic how, move, where. On this, we only got half an hour on this, and it's very difficult to show you all the basics. So I'll get to the point what the beauty is, then you know what it's all about. Now, beauty is understand about the Finger to throw. So when he punch, learning a lot to do with that. That straight into the throat straight away. Okay? So when that here, single movement on the palm here, <clears throat> here, and that will destroy the person straight away. By on the throat, <clears throat> bang! Kaput. And that's what unique about beauty. It's only designed to go into the certain part of the body. Okay? Maybe when he punch, moving this eye, learning to go in this particular underarm here. Boom into here, then line your body up, then punch mm, on the body. But everything has to work in an inch. You can't go bring your hand back like this and mm, like that. Okay? So when you're here, that's where they are. And then from here, you're pushing your power from, mm, from here. That's enough to break a couple ribs. Okay? Let me remind you so you know. Make sure that if you do training, Put a vest on, equipment on. You go to our website, you will see a lot of equipment. One of our DVD, you will see a lot of equipment. On this program, I need to explain to you now, safety equipment must be on. Without safety equipment, you won't be able to pull the technique out and you'll get hurt very easily. And you cannot use the technique you want. You always need somebody to work with because it's real so you can move it around. So let me show you again the movement. The first one is learn about that hand, controlling. If we put the finger behind there to stop my view coming in, that's fine. See my elbow? Land. Soon that land, that will land his body. What? Hmm. Right in his throat here. If you follow my TV on this particular training program, you will know beauty is designed to broken the person up. Broken him up or the joint. We say that, and we deliver just that for you. We can't say one thing and then do something else. Not like Tam kill you, go down to break people on. Siu Lim Tao learning about the idea. Beauty, dog, it's designed to destroy your opponent. So let me show you slowly on this one when you learn. Learn about hand, hand, not here. If it land, not, no hand there, no hand there, that's fine, right to the throat. That palm, come in. That's when the form is very important. Mm. On the form, very important. Without that, the hand block, if I still got a hand and remember, what I'm trying to explain to you is what you can do in a beauty. Hand here, if it push, that's fine because it keeps me line. If it not push, it doesn't matter. I make my own way there. Mm. And then I destroy them. So really and truly, I don't care if you move. Not move. 
he still have to go down. If he move, he have to still go down. This doesn't matter if he move or not. That's the unique. Now you spoke my hand. So when he punch coming in, boom, here, here, mm, this side now. Hmm? It's not like when you watch, is it the select style? You're not wrong there, you know. That's come from the slack. See, in the Wing Chun side, they have slack and a crank, but we don't illustrate them movement like that there because it's not useful. So we're using the principle of it. So you can understand that the slack moving around. Same thing when you punch one, and you punch two. Yeah, see, straight in the throat. See? But you cannot stop any well but throat because throat is nothing there. Mm, nothing there. One in there, one palm, he's finished. So that's where it's dangerous. Second place you hit him, mm, here, it's right in here, yeah? That's where the armpit, very painful. But then again, when you get here, then that's where you're gonna punch him, right here. But that's where we're gonna go into, mm, learn to have that. If you get here, you don't understand and follow me, then using energy drill, how you know that this is move body back a bit? What you gonna punch? And secondly, you maybe follow me and you get a little bit better now, and you think, elbow, come back, elbow me. Elbow me. Elbow. Uh, elbow, elbow. Uh, elbow, elbow. <laughs> You're not gonna elbow anything. You know why? Because when you're learning to this particular training into the Master Wong system, you limited down everything that happened to you. So when you get there, you will pick the cherry that you want because you limit it down. When you get in, you've broken everything already, like going to somebody's houses. Before you go in there and nick anything or stow anything, you could go open the door first, don't you? If the door is locked, how do you go in? So you limit the door down first. And then, you make it the alarm gone off. You limit it that down. Then you go in and pick what you want and take what you want. In our training system, no different. Have to think a specific way, otherwise you cannot train the way we supposed to be trying and knowing what's going on. He not gonna go with hand down, elbow. Not gonna happen, see? You control. He punched me, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine here. <laughs> See, that's what beauty is. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure this hand is gone. Here, I'm not gonna using the thumb cue now because thumb cue is thumb cue. No relevant on this at all. <laughs> this is beauty. So I show you what beauty is. Beauty designed a broken joint, and that's what is it designed broken joint here. I'm not gonna punch him. I'm gonna use my weight from here. <laughs> and that's army will disappear. When the arm will disappear, the joint, the arm, the throat, you go in and you can sing and dance. So the line of the hand here, see like here, in Tam Q, I will go my body in. In Bilchi, I put my hand here, <coughs> like this. Yeah, hook coming in, hand like this, see hand here, <coughs> cross like this. Hook with this side, come here, see. <coughs> and this is what Tam Q give you, the close range. What Bilchi give you is the ways that you put the power in the close distance. And I'm not gonna play with the body yet because that's easy, too easy. Because when you get into this line now, you are very, very good. That's when you're getting good where you need to express in your skill. The skill you have in this system, you need to use them. No point having the skill and you're not using it. And you're doing a basic thing and not neutralize what you're learning. That's no point. Then what's the point of learning it? So because of that, you need to learn in the skill. Skill will take you a long time to pull it out because it's not straightforward as you think. So on this training, few things I will teach you. First, learning to understanding about the line. Yeah? Learning and understand the line and have the pattern and learn about the inch. Learn, hmm, punch. So when you get here, hmm, the punch. When you understand that. When you hook coming in, hand here. And then when you hand here, this hand coming inside, yeah? Punch, like that. 
what you have is body here, the movement, what? <clears throat> I make it, it go as I want. Then I get into here, then easy enough for me, to, and I'll kill him this way. It's a amount of pre pressure I put in. Now, two things I need to talk to you a little bit about, inch punch here. When you inch punch, two way. One, I can force him and make him move if I stand there. This is special. I got to get in places, you know. <sighs> Reality term, can you really get in that places like that ready? Hold on. <sighs> No, you're not going to get in that places and you're not going to do that sort of movement because when it happens, you run out of energy, you haven't got enough movement to do that. It happens when you're coming in, learn and stand like, hmm. Happen like that. I lay the hand on you. When you start to move, I'm going to blow your way in inch power. Bang! And then you need a new chest because I made the whole food there for you. Sometimes you think that it's not possible enough, then you need to practice some more. And one day, when you see a seminar, come and see us, and hopefully we can help you to understand more about that. We try to be here, try to help you as much as we can, try to let you understanding the system, not let you knowing behind what did not happen, the truth about the training. We're not here to hide anything of you. We try our best to help you. Next thing on the beauty is very useful. We teach you to understand about inch. Punch coming in, learn about the inch. Inch it here. Make sure you're in line, inch it here. My body in line is wrong here. You need to remember. Wrong line. For me to come in, my body must turn. So here, I need to turn. Mm. Punch at this to learn. That's the punch coming in. So it's painful, go full. What we're doing here, maybe, if I want to show you this, it's different. <laughs> it's the push. Anybody can do that. You see a lot of them training, and then they come in here, into this line, and then, <laughs> yeah, you can do that. You can push. He come back, and he gonna punch you again. <laughs> and he punch you again. <laughs> And he punched you again, but this time, mm, no, he's not gonna come back again. He need a new chest. Otherwise, he's gonna put a metal plate on there. I'm gonna take him out of commission. So, into the beauty side, when people pushing like this, you're thinking, hey, a lot of power. If you have a lot of power, the guy feels some pain. Not some back, hey, yeah, so beautiful. So when you're training, don't let people brainwash you to learning. You need to understand and feel them. Next thing I'll go with you, the beauty is I have free heat coming in. So learn about free heat coming in. It's like learning this. One, two, three, free heat. On this free heat, it's quite difficult to practice. If you hit wrong, you're breaking your wrist. That's where you hit. Like this, yeah, like that. Learn like that, turn, like that. If you start hitting your line of the hand, like that, wrong, you not get the line in line at like this. <laughs> Very difficult to put the power in. You watching food, you see bang, 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 bang. It's not something that you can do straight away. Learning, to learn about the body, <laughs> the throat. You need to express in the feeling of the body to kind of understand in the movement of that. So I hope this particular training, you can understand. Let me show you slowly. So when you hear, here, palm, hand like this, and make sure that you tense and lock. Otherwise, you're breaking your wrist. Palm, land, yeah? From here, you can hit, you see? Land, turn, this hand back. From here, palm, from here, palm. Yeah, then from here, Go back to the inch, and then from here, punch. <laughs> and that's how you practice with that. And beauty is very unique about that. It's designed for the skill, understanding. 
knowing how to go in, where to hit. So when he punch coming, boom, boom, here. <coughs> punch coming in, that's fine. <coughs> here. <coughs> it's designed to let you understand you're going to get a close range in this here, you're in here. Grab hold me, that's fine. <coughs> yeah, grab hold. <coughs> yeah, because you're in line. Grab. <coughs> yeah, grab. <coughs> grab. See, body. <coughs> You start to knock him out in the whole of your body because it's it close. Very difficult for you to work in this line. So as soon as you get in this line, your body, <laughs> body, yeah? Soon the body coming from here, I got a problem here, then I punch, boom. Then I start to work with him. So from this training, you need to knowing about more of the movement. It's knowing about the body of him, where the his body, yeah? So the hand, where the line, yeah? When you start to learning, you're searching. You're searching where he is, the body, yeah, from here. You're searching where he is. You're searching where he is. You're searching where he is. You hit, you're searching. Punch, that don't matter. He hits. When he hit, oh, I want to hit him. Fine, punch me. Oh, I want to hit him. I don't care. Be hit, oh, I want to hit him. I want to hit him. That's fine. See, the line is I'm searching. I know where he is. So you can hit him. So you hit him. Come in here. See, I can understand where he is, knowing where the body is. So what it teach you is it make you to understanding more about the position of your body and knowing where to move and how to move. This is very unique to learning where the body is. Yeah? If I can understand where that is, is how easy for me to hit him. Yeah? Knowing where who he is, because the close one, yeah? hit me. Yeah? Oh, he is. Oh, here the hand hit me. Oh, here the movement is where the hand is. Here he is. He is. Boom. Oh, here. When he hook. Oh, okay, here. Oh, I break. Hook coming in. Oh, that's fine. Understanding. See, every time I hit him, I'm knowing where the line of the body is. In line for me to work. Without this learning and knowing, how am I going to go in and search him? If I cannot search him, how do you expect? I can go in and blow him away. Because all work in a close range here. And this is very, very skillful that you need to work. Without this particular training onto the form side that you need to practice with, if you have problem with that, then it's got on a DVD on this website, then you will find problem with learning it and knowing how to move your body. You spend some time to learning to find a person that able to work heavily with you so they can take some punishment. If you can't, then it's very difficult to push in the power in. And if you cannot push the power in, you go to that level. You must reach up the high standard and knowing about things. Because you see, I don't need to lean, I don't trip, I don't fall. Wing Chun Man had to go down the floor. When you go down the floor, very difficult because I don't design for that. Okay? Don't design to go down the floor. It's designed to go stand upright. That's what the skill behind the Wing Chun is learning, to understand that. If you start to understanding that, it's making it easy for you to work. So when you start to learning of this, you learn a lot about hand. Learn about this hand. This hand going in. Yeah? Punch with this side. Learn about this hand. See, from here, punch this hand. See, cross. Learning from here, see? Because from here, you're learning. When you hook this hand, coming inside here, there, see? It's trying to get rid of him straight away. Because the hand come in here, that's the bicep right here, then it just boom, that get rid of straight away. Because the palm will land in, yeah? This is what happened. Quickly, you can start to learning the line of the body straight away and get rid of him by just by the push. Because Wing Chun have a lot of pressure coming in, a lot of fresh movement. Some, a lot of them, they come in here like this on the eye. We do that on a Sulem Tao, boom on the eye, see? Pun coming in, see? Straight to the eye. It's different. Now, we need to go in here, in the throat, yeah? It's different. Now, we need to search, oh, here's the arm, I've broken that. Here's the body, I've broken that. Pun with this side. Here he is, I need to broken this arm. This is why, why Bill is so unique, because of breaking all the joint. Hook with this side. See, you learn about, oh, here he is, I've broken everything I touch. I touch it, I've broken it. And that's what it do. Next one, it's on this, is talk to you more into learning about the body, about his body. Without learning to understanding the body, you don't know where the movement is for you to hit him. Without this learning, you won't be able to use the technique very well. So it's very, very difficult to make use of what you learn. That's what on this particular program now. We come to the end now. 
Next program, I will show you here some of the movements that we're going to show you. It's a lot to do with the self-defense side. Now, of course, in Wing Chun, it's designed for self-defense. You're not wrong there. But in a different way of self-defense, because we got use a specific learning skill. In the self-defense, you get in day to day. You know, day to day, that you get in. You get in the situation that all the time you may be getting, maybe somebody point a finger at me, point a finger at me. This soap, this soap day to day, you get in, you boom, on the go in here, see? Boom, to the go in here. That's when you go in here, boom, to the go in here. And you knock him out, yeah? This may be coming in the point of finger, maybe like this soap coming here. You get in this soap self-defense. In a different format of self-defense. Maybe coming in, when he start the pun coming in, I don't still come in here, I just boom here, just kick him out and break his rib. It's a completely different way for self-defense training. Yeah? Maybe the hand in the shoulder, for instance. Instead of boom like that, his hand in here, for instance. Instead of boom like that, I come in here, for instance. Yeah? So it's a slightly different way of self-defense. It's self-defense that it teaches you to day-to-day -day stuff. Thank you for that. So the idea is when you start to learning this particular training, on next one, I will show you more into day-to-day -day that you get in. Grabbing hand, grab your throat, grab your chest, pushing you. Think that you're getting day-to-day -day thing. Then you can understand how to using a Wing Chun method or understanding and put in day-to-day -to, -day to use them. Without this knowledge, you won't be able to use it because you will think that in the Wing Chun is for self-defense. You do this certain movement. It's not need to using that technique because you need to know what it's doing for what need the purpose for it. And that's important. Thank you for watching on this program. I see you again on next program.